You come across a lot of incidents and unusual stories in daily life. Only a few of them have a permanent impact on your behavior. Many of them remain in your memory for only a few hours and sometimes for only a few minutes. The world is full of unexpected and surprising stories of love, hate, care, and tyranny. The most engaging stories we hear with interest are about care and love. It becomes more interesting to listen if it is about the people of totally different cultures, natures, age groups, and even do not know each other languages. It seems quite funny to hear how two people can take care of each other without knowing their language, but miracles are also possible in this world. Let me tell you one such incredible story. It is a story of the connection between a young doctor who has just started his job in the central hospital of the city and a small boy who belongs to a poor and illiterate family. The story begins when the doctor has been assigned to work in the hospital, far away from his native city, New York. He was selected to work as a volunteer doctor in the war threat zone near the border. Oliver was a passionate man who spent his whole life on luxuries. He belonged to a wealthy family, but the broken one, his father died and his mother married again. He was in utter depression and anxiety because of the loneliness he had to face. The story was narrated by another Dr. Carter who was also chosen in the same area as Oliver. One day, when they were helping the injured people, he said a small boy came for treatment. The boy, merely 12 years old, suffered from a nasal infection. Oliver gave him treatment and asked his name, but the boy just gave a look at us and ran away. The most public and common opinion that afraid of something like injection and medicines and we think the same. After a couple of days, he again came, and this time his arm was injured badly. On his third visit, there were bruises on his legs, arms, and face. Oliver tried to talk to him, but he did not respond again and ran away. Doctors there decided to visit the nearby town to give first aid to random injured people. Oliver and the small boy named James met there again. James welcomed him with a smile and looked very different from the boy who came for treatment. From his co-workers, Oliver came to know that James lived with his younger sister and grandmother, and he was the only male in his family who worked hard to feed his family. His grandmother was sick from tuberculosis and was a nice woman. Oliver felt some type of affection for him and started to visit his home daily. Treating the old lady and taking care of James' sister became a part of his daily schedule. Oliver does not know how to speak English fluently. There was a significant language barrier between them, but they communicated in the language of affection. Oliver does not know about family love, as he spends all his childhood alone. Grandmother of James sometimes cooked food and told the stories of her age. Oliver became very attached to them and was being counted as a family member by then. Once, one fellow doctor asked Oliver what was about James' home that attracted him that much, he simply replied with a smiling face that the conventional oven-baked brownies and the stories of old ages bought me. James did not go to school because he had to work to earn for living and the only language he could speak flawlessly was the native language of his area. Oliver did not know about his language much. Both of them tried their best to understand each other and were successful to some extent. Sometimes when they got different meanings from each other's, they only burst into a laugh because, you know, laughing does not need any language to understand. They both found a friend in each other, which they needed most at that stage of their lives. James was in severe financial depression, and even he did not find a suitable job to earn. He used to go to any nearby construction site and got a daily paycheck. While doing this, he remained ill almost five days a week. Although he also got treatment from the free medical dispensary, only one thing he needed was the treatment of care and console. He got all this from Dr. Oliver. Oliver also had many friends, but they all belonged to him because of his money. He craved for some people who would love him unconditionally and selflessly. When he met James and his family, he got that thing he was always seeking. He tried his best to support James financially and emotionally without hurting his self-ego. The grandmother of James also found a good listener in the face of Oliver. After a few weeks, the grandmother was detected with lung cancer. Oliver did what he could do to save her life, but everything went to ashes and she died. It was that time when Oliver became more attached to James. He was in deep grief at the loss of maternal and elderly affection. After about three months, they were ordered to come back to back the Central Hospital in New York City. Oliver made a life-changing decision for James and her younger sister at that moment. 
he took them under his custody and brought them to his place. Oliver supported the kids financially and morally and gave them the motivation to complete their education. He became the father they could wish for and Oliver's life was finally complete. It was after about nine years when Oliver took James to New York, said Carter. The small boy had become a young man. Following Oliver's footsteps and inspiration, James became a doctor. Oliver was then also living depression, free happy life because of James, who was more than his family to him. James also aimed to help at least one person in his life, the same way Oliver helped him and changed his life. This happens when you love someone without any greed. Love and care are such miracles that can turn heaven into hell and hell into heaven. Only one small step of kindness can go a long way, and God will return your deed to you in such unexpected ways that you will feel more than grateful. I hope you enjoyed the story and were moved by it. If you want to listen to many more stories like this, then stay attached to us. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of our newly uploaded videos so that you cannot miss any one of them. In the end, we wish you all to get your share of contentment from this world as Oliver found his.